All right, so we have something new and exciting coming up here pretty soon. Uh, before we get that, uh, I just gotta mow the pasture real quick. So I'm gonna get the tractor started and uh, clean it up. Everything got a little bit overgrown, but we are expecting some rain. So I wanna get it cut before we get this ne uh, next rain. So let's get started. Hi Colton. Hey buddy. Oh you're gra oh look at you drive. Look at you drive the tractor. Are you having fun, pal? You ready to drive this thing? Say hello to all your fans. We know that they're here for you, not us. <laughs> yeah, the cute one always wins. Yeah. Huh, pal? Couple more months and he'll be driving it for real. We got his future builder shirt <laughs> with the big old track loader. Got the, uh, brush hog installed and basically just gonna come out here and mow um, like you can see I'll kind of walk over while I'm zooming in <clears throat> bunch of weeds and stuff that need to get cut quality of the grass is not that great because we've been in a drought so I'm gonna just get it all cut down and hopefully this rain will promote some good grass growth and the weeds uh, won't come back Okay, so I'm standing out in the pasture. Um, obviously, I had just cut it a couple days ago, as you saw in those previous clips. And now, I have more work to do because of the hogs. So, if you don't already know, in Texas and a lot of the other southern states, uh, there's a really big feral hog problem. That's why it's open season. You don't even have to have a hunting license. Uh, we need to kill them. So, I know a lot of people don't like that, but this is just a small example of the damage that they do. So. You probably can't even tell. I'll flip the camera around here in just a second. But this is a very significant area of ruts that they came and destroyed in one night. Uh, this is just one part in the front pasture. They've probably destroyed two acres already. Uh, we have more spots spread out throughout the back pasture and everything. Uh, but I'll flip this cam camera around and just kind of show you what they did. Um, after that, I'm going to get the... Uh, I already put the disc uh, haro on the tractor and I'll get this all smoothed out. Okay, 
so now that you can probably see it better, hopefully, here's just a little idea. I'm going to kind of walk along the perimeter here and just show you all what they did. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going over here and over there. And uh, just for a size comparison, I'll call over the pups. Ollie, Remy, come here. Come on. Come here. Come on, let's go. Maybe. Faster. More quicklier. Come on. Come on, get in the holes. Get in the holes. Come on. Oliver, sit. Sit. Okay. No. Oliver, get down. Sit. Okay, so there's a stay. There's just a little comparison. Our 80 pound pit bull in just one teeny tiny little spot of this huge area that they destroyed. Uh, some of these are close to two feet deep. Um, so anyways, that's my rant. I'm gonna get on the tractor and fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this project because we just had something show up to the ranch. That's a whole lot more exciting. I'll go show you what it is. Okay, as you can see here, we have a little trailer backing up towards us. If anyone wanna take some guesses now before you can tell, but I'll zoom in. Can you see that little guy? Oliver, go. 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 Hey, buddy. Maybe you should have locked them up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that horse going to run. That looked great. Well, that was quite a commotion. Um, basically, after the second cow got out of the trailer, uh, we turned around and saw that Comanche, which is, back it up here, this punk right here. Um, started immediately chasing after the smaller calf. So unfortunately that was our fault. You know, we didn't uh, make sure that the horses were locked up in here. Uh, didn't think that he was gonna run them off that quick. But anyways, Comanche takes off after the little calf and pushes the calf straight through the fence. So calf gets out of the fence and immediately the chase was on. Um, luckily Comanche didn't go through the fence but it took us about uh, 30 or so minutes to find the calf, get the calf back in the fence. But everything got settled. Uh, both cows are in the, the pasture. What we're gonna probably have to do is run the tractor supply and buy some goat fencing because one of the calves is just a lot smaller than we were expecting and he's able to kind of squeeze through the barbed wire pretty easy. So we're gonna go buy a 300 foot roll of goat fencing, uh, throw up some T-posts and build them their own little pasture within the big pasture until they get just a little bit bigger. And then uh, once we're not concerned about them breaking through the fence, then we'll let them back out. But for now, they're out in the pasture. I'll show you uh, them just kind of hanging out. Um, so a little bit more work to do than we originally expected, but it'll be fine. So I don't know if you can see those two little specks out there. Here's the cows.
hanging out, getting the lay of the land, trying to figure out where, uh, where they belong in this world. So we came up with a game plan uh, for the cows. Basically the horses are going to stay locked up just in the stalls for now. Um, my dad is on the way to tractor supply. He's going to buy a 300 foot roll of goat fencing. Uh, while he's doing that I'm going to start pounding some T-posts and we're going to just portion off a little part of the pasture. So I'm going to start uh, pounding those T-posts while he's getting that. Uh, we'll put up one little gate and basically we're going to just keep them in uh, that portion of the pasture for, you know, at least a couple weeks, who knows how long. Um, as long as they're staying healthy, obviously, you know, there's still plenty of gra uh, grass for how small they are. So we'll just have to kind of go by uh, week by week, I guess, and if we have to move it around, it's going to be a little bit of work. Um, but until we get them their own pasture, this is just what we're going to have to do. So. I'm going to get started with T-posts and go from there. The good thing is that it is only 77 degrees, so it's finally a lot more tolerable um, to do work like this. So, <laughs> Not what we expected today, today to be like. I kind of just thought it was going to be put cows in the pasture and be done with it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I guess we got to get to work. We have one side of the fence put up all the way out here. Um, over here, we still have to get uh, that fence put up, but what we're going to do is just try to go wrangle the cows, get them into this new little pasture area, and then pretty much unspool all the wire, and uh, hopefully we can trap them in before we even tension it. So, I'm going to take the camera with me, and we're going to go try to wrangle some cows. Okay, so we're basically having to push them on the boundary line. So I'm kind of holding the center of the pasture. You can see over here, that's where the uh, wire is standing up. So, this area in here is still open. There's them. So we're pushing them along the previous fence. And 
and try to get them in there. Oh, here they come. What are you guys doing? Wrong direction. The plan was going great, and then they started coming out. They ditched the fence line, so now we're, uh, they're trying to go back the opposite direction, which is not what we want. So, we'll get there. All right, we just had to run them. But as you can see, there's the T-posts. There's the wire. We gotta run the wire over there. And this is gonna be their teeny little pasture for at least a couple weeks until we can figure out something else. So they found one of the buckets of food. Looks like the bigger one is munching away. They're just a couple feet from the water over there. So we're gonna just kinda let them hang out for a couple minutes, get comfortable, and then uh, we we'll, it over, I think. we'll actually come and tighten this stuff up. Right now it's still loose, so we just gotta come and tension it and uh, throw some clips on all the way over there, and we'll be done. Okay, little little one's in the food bin, so we got uh, one drinking water, one eating food, finally home. They look like they're very happy. <laughs> All right, it's a little windy and our microphone broke, so hopefully you can still hear me. Um, today's day two, uh, so the cows came in yesterday, and the whole fiasco uh, of them getting out and stuff. So we got all of the wire mesh put up yesterday, and then we went out. Jeez, they're not letting me talk. Uh, we went out for dinner, and when we came home, the little cow was out of the fence. So the barbed wire that we had uh, clearly was still not appropriate for the littler one. So uh, my dad spent most of the day today getting up another strand of barbed wire in the gate. So I'll, sh I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, we're just about done. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, installed a panel gate using the existing post um, so this way obviously we can get the tractor in to cut and if we need um, to move the cows or just do anything uh, we just wanted to have a gate to get them in and basically uh, what my dad's been working on is adding this strand of barbed wire right here because in between these two strands is where the cows were able to get out. They were able to, it's just loose enough that they were able to push their way through. So my dad came and installed this all along here. And we're just throwing a couple staples and we'll be done.
<laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. They're telling me uh, that it's the end of this video. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm not even going to be able to finish this little uh, clip. So anyways, obviously the cows are here. We got their little area set up. Um, it's far from perfect. It's not how we wanted it originally to be. Uh, the goal was to have them share the entire pasture with the horses, but based off of, you know, the fact that Comanche immediately ran one out of the fence, it just wasn't a worth, or wasn't a risk that we could uh, keep taking. It wasn't worth it. So uh, we gave them this little pasture area. What I think we're going to start working on is in the uh, front pasture, we're probably going to start putting up the corner braces and the goal will be to fence off at least a couple acres up front and then move the cows up there, buy them a donkey or two, and then keep them separated from the horses. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video. Y'all take care.